Hey, God bless you. This is Gordon Hofer. Have a wonderful day today. Listen, I'm going to talk to you about money today. Oh, when people hear preachers talk about money, they just hide their billfolds and they think the guy's going to take all of their money. And I'm afraid to tell you that's been true in some incidents, but not with me. And I've proven that for 52 years. I'm not a scoundrel. Now let's go to Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. Do not lay up your treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. How do you do that? When you tithe and give your offerings unto the Lord, you're laying your treasures up in heaven. That money turns into people receiving Christ as personal Savior. That money turns into buying uh, uh, food for the poor. That money turns into taking um, that money and putting clothes on people's backs and etc., etc. That money sends missionaries around the world. And so lay up your treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So we can tell where your heart is. If your heart is right with God, your money is going to be right with God. The Bible tells us that this world is literally going to be burned up and destroyed. That's right. That nice car you have, poof, going to be burned up and gone. The beautiful, beautiful mansions in this world, boom, going to be burned up, gone. But the things that we have sent ahead of time, and we do that when we give money into the kingdom of God. You say, well, how do you do that? Does God have a uh, ATM that I put the money in there? Yes, he does. It's called the offering plates. Hallelujah. When you give money to God in that offering, you are making a transaction with heaven. Heaven records what you've given. Then heaven begins to multiply what you put into the kingdom of God. It's a beautiful, beautiful transfer where God takes what you give to him and he multiplies it. Now, if you are a Christian and you found Christ in a church, all right, somebody paid for that building. Hello. Somebody paid the pastor. Somebody paid the light bill. All has to do with money. And you receive the Lord Jesus Christ free. The gospel is free, but it takes money to get it to you, and it takes money to maintain it. So, same thing is when there's the people in Africa, or Tanzania, or they might be in Chile, South America, in La Serena, or Coquimba. Listen to me. I preached there in La Serena, Chile, and I uh, in the 70s. I know that one day when I go to heaven, I'm going to meet some Chilenos because they got saved in that tent. They're going to come up to me and say, you're the big German guy that came to La Serena, Chile. And while you were there with John Mazurik, the missionary, you gave an altar call and I received Christ. And now I'm in heaven rejoicing with you. That's sending the treasure ahead, the gifts ahead, where nobody can destroy it. So I want to let you know today, the greatest thing that you can do is invest your life in the kingdom of God. Invest your flesh, invest your time, invest your mind, and invest your money into the kingdom of God. And as you do that, the Lord will multiply it. I've proven that for 52 years, my friend. Now, as a preacher, I get offerings, but I give offerings. I pay 10% of all monies that come into my life. All right? Then we give offerings. We support a ministry in Africa. We support another ministry over here and another ministry over there. So as a preacher, it's not all about me just taking in money. It's me giving out money as well. And so I give as unto the Lord as he's blessed me. And then he multiplies whatever I give to him. Where's your heart at? Are you stingy? Are you a Christian that doesn't tithe? Wow. I, 
I can't fathom that. I, my spiritual computer doesn't understand why a Christian would not give tithes and offerings to God. Because you got it. Somebody told you about this man called Jesus. Then if you're going to church and every Sunday you come in and you listen to the preacher and oh, how wonderful the service is and the offering plate goes by and you don't give nothing or maybe you give a dollar to make it look good. You're a thief. That's what the Bible says. You're a thief and you're arrogant. You're arrogant and say, I don't need to listen to God. I can do it myself. That's not a good sign. So I'm really preaching to the Christian today. Shame on you. I would be embarrassed. I would hang my head low. You say, well, preacher, I, I, I uh, 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 listen to me. You're alive, aren't you? That means you're eating. <laughs> you're eating. Or you get the money to eat. You got it from somewhere. All God is asking, I'll give you an example. If a guy makes $1,000 a week, okay, that tithe is $100 to God. If a person makes $100 a week and he gives $10, that's his tithe. He's, he has given as much as the guy that's given $100, okay? So it's all equal. God is an equal opportunist. And so you don't, you get your reward by your obedience and your faithfulness. Everybody can tithe. Because if you don't, there's a curse on you. Your car breaks down, your kid gets sick. It's just a mess. And I also believe that everybody pays tithes. Even the sinner pays tithes. Car breaks down, everything goes wrong. You know? So, this is in the Bible. This is the word of God, okay? It's not, it's not my word. It's God's word, okay? And I'm just telling you, God wants to bless you. And as you give to God, he will bless you, my dear friend. And he will break the curse off of your life and you'll live underneath the blessings of God. So sow into the kingdom of God today. As I close, if you're a church person and you go to church, you need to write out a tithe check or cash or whatever every time, every week to that local body of believers. You need to start giving offerings to missionaries. Start feeding the poor. Do something extra. You'll see God bless you in a big, big way. All right. Remember, there's a money trail from your heart. That's right. And if you're not taking that money that God's given to you and putting it in the right place, we know where your heart's at. It's not in the right place. I want to be generous, and I want you to be generous. We love you. I want you blessed. I want you blessed. I want you blessed going in, and I want you blessed going out. In Jesus' name. And if you do what this book says, you will be blessed. Have a great day. This is Evangelist Gordon Hofer. Bye-bye.